YouTube, welcome to Upside DIY. So this is a quick tutorial on how to uh, fix your software or your apps from being slow or crashing. First, you, you can, you know, put or turn on the do not disturb or uh, I'm not quite used to this phone yet but I have the airplane mode on do not disturb on um, that should be kind of on the first screen uh, I could like move auto you know and then the mobile data but what you want to do depending on if you're going to use your smartphone as a media player which plays person or you know just music or videos that you might have downloaded or uh, put onto a memory card from another device like a laptop or if like a lot of people use your mobile phone as an internet um you know work or not even work but you could play video games or even go shopping, check Craigslist, or, you know, um, watch YouTube videos. And what you want to try to do is go to apps, or, you know, you, you could check your network and internet. Turn off the Wi-Fi. This, this phone is kind of a media player. I, I don't want to give it too much access because uh, maybe... You know, to to my, you know, a lot of things. Um, data saver off, private DNS off, things like that. But um, that's what I have, just because this is a media player. But this still does, uh, you know, have like unlimited service or this and that. I'm not even sure about all that stuff. Uh, Things like that. It's basically like one of those burner type of phones that the government gives you. So, um, but yeah, things happen. I, I you know, I, but I have uh, my own phone plan somehow. Some someone's, you know, pretty much helping me, and I don't know. Um, then, you know, once you kind of like get. I mean, it took me like six months to, ex you know, checking every little, er everything, uh, you know, the, the Google option, you know, you need, you might need the internet and things like that, um, about the phone, the system, check a lot of stuff, but a lot of it has to do with the app, uh, like a video game app or a shopping app, um, you, you you know, every, every click basically has a certain um, menu. And what I did was I reset the reset app preferences. So that reset all the apps. And then, um, you know, to play video games, I went to Google Play Store, you know. And then I basically opened the app, you know. Um, and I was, I, you know, it, it turned out to be like, like the, the, there would be like, like the phone company's home address. They would actually send all types of notification, I think, or, you know, every like minute or every time I, I like. I, I don't know, I disabled, I probably uninstalled the phone company's website. It just kept blocking, the, or, you know, it just kept popping up after I reset all the app references and things. Um, but, yeah, back to going to the Google Play Store. Uh, turn on auto updates, for one. Uh, if you're going to use, like, a gaming app or a shopping app, those auto updates actually help deter hackers and basically you know scans your system a, a, quite a few times um if that were to happen and also keeps the app running real really good actually um
so and there's also all types of modify system settings you know depending on the google play store or um you know and what you and how you're going to use your phone or your device and things like that if it's a media player you know just a, just a spare phone that does, but you know most people you know um that are into devices actually have like wi-fi and things like that and set up and things and you know they play casino games they could you know chat with their friends you know they're they're always connected to the internet and things like that you know they you know they get calls they're on call for work and you know through the internet or whatever like that but um some people just like to relax you know when 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 they're at a certain but uh you know playing a video game google play store well yeah google play store turn on and turn on updates basically and also you can you know it, it'll open up google play store and then um you could check for updates with you know like the app you know it could be you know different app all types of apps but and every time you use that app go go to open up google play store you know search the app and open it through Google Play Store, and then it, it'll auto update all the time, things like that. It, and um, you know, there's a lot of really good apps. Uh, you know, so um, you know, I, I use probably two or three apps all the time, or you know, one gaming app because well, I try to use one email for now. Um, you know, with Google Play Store and things like that, and uh, things happen um, differently if, you know, you you turn off note, you know, with some apps, like, I'll, I'll show you some bad ways for setting up an app. Um, see all 34 apps and, like, this anti-spy, let's see, this force stop that. I actually uninstalled anti-spy too. There's a few apps, uh, you know, that you, that I've tested for, like, five or six months you know, and their system repairs, apps, and things. Uh, you may or may not need them. Um, but a bad way, clear cache, clear storage, four stop. I was doing that every day. Uh, turn off auto updates. You know, I was just like, I, you know, I was just so paranoid of hackers. When I was kind of hacking myself, keeping myself out of a lot of my own data, Allow app to open supported links, so I want to turn that off. Uh, you know, I I was just crazy. Uh, alarms and reminders. But, um, yeah, so, I mean, I was, like, doing it to myself, and I didn't really even know it, you know. And then I was looking kind of crazy after four or five months, uh, uh, you know, just, just because one or two months and even maybe a certain app was crashing my my you know google apps or software and things um maybe my auto updates was turned off for a year or two and then my device was just really you know sick and so um but i i used to actually like update manually and that that really was bad. I mean, like every month, maybe every week, maybe every day, I would like get notifications for new update, new updates. So, so my my best solution was just. I mean, I I have this spare device, you know, or um, well, my best solution was uh, you know. Pretty much restart the phone, uh, reset app preferences. You know, since I was using apps and the internet a lot, I went to you know Google Play Store or even to pretty much the the um, Google system 
type situation right here. Sys services and preferences. Um, you know, cleared clear, cleared up. You know, all every time I clear like I clear all time history. You know, with YouTube, with the web browser. Um, you know, just kind of double ch checked inside of Google services or Google. Um, just the Google. Uh, I guess menu, and the thing is, um. Uh, I was setting, or, you know, I, I was putting everything into internet, um, s you know, services, and, you know, with my older devices, or just with my experience with mobile phones and things, since, like, 2011, 2012, I always liked, if, uh, you know, smartphones were this, you know, interesting now i i don't even know like where i got that from because at that time i i had like a nokia flip phone or something and i was just like oh because i met somebody that was actually that actually developed android so yeah it's just a long interesting thing and or maybe i met somebody that owned an android i'm not even sure but i was just like i'm 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 play mobile video games instead of this wi-fi crap MMO, but, um, yeah, so, yeah, it's, it's, it's how it is, uh, and the gallery permissions, uh, you know, you check the notifications, permissions, all that stuff, so, Gmail, it's kind of forced, well, I just kind of use this phone as just, just a random um it's a pretty good you know phone and things like that um but uh you know i'm gonna use this other phone i took the battery out and stuff like that but i could use it for like a like a close-up type of um electronic type of camera and things like that um it's just a really old burner phone and things then I've got these other tablets and things, and you, I don't have Wi-Fi. I don't want to spend a lot of time on the internet because it does get a little bit confusing or oversaturated with ads and all that stuff. So I use it as a media player where I can just relax uh, whenever I want to, and uh, you know, take t and you know, basically have have more like control of the technology nowadays but I do need the internet sometimes and that's why I'm kind of making this video you know sometimes like you know I, I spent 12 years playing mobile games and some of them were good some of them were were okay some of them were were for game currency or cryptocurrency but um but some games uh, I started to you know pretty much you know it was there there's some of the better games for me so and even shopping and so I you know I'm I'm still pretty much you know okay I will say um if I could just enjoy it and not not put myself in, into a bad, you know, plan and things, or I need to pay attention and not really, you know, concern myself as much anymore. Um, just because I, you know, there there's just different forks and crossroads and forks and and also. I, I just gotta learn for you know the time and stuff and situation you know is uh, I I should be able to, to predict myself better than um than I would think and yeah I was just basically doing the wrong thing and so now hopefully I could recover after six months and all types of other little small things and I'll see you on the next upside DIY